Next time you see me, I will be on the road. I hope. Next time I see you guys, I promise, I will be back on the road. All right, next time I see you, I'll be on the road. Okay. See? We're on the road again. Hi. My car always looks so much bigger when it's empty. I'm driving to a um, undisclosed secret camping location and it's like a seven hour drive. So I'm here for a quick uh, food pit stop. All right. You guys want to learn how to make some mac and cheese? Just to make some, learn how to make the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> Pardon me, Apple. I also got some like sick new gear that I'm like really excited to test out when I get to the campsite. But for now, let's bring out some of my sick old gear. All right. Actually, I don't know if I use this yet. This is the this is the folding. The real reason that I like it, outside of it being cool and clever and all, is that they take these type of propane cans which I already have, I already use. It's, you know, you, you can find them anywhere. Match the little plastic tab up with your can or not. Wait, what? Excuse me? That's the grill that goes over like that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, you know, me and fire never really work well together. My last video, somebody told me that if I really want to level up my coffee game, I should really grind my own beans. So, there we are. $13 later, I have a cheap Chinese grinder. Kind of takes forever. And we have a boil. Okay. That is good. Freshly ground for you coffee purists. Next. Okay, so the mac and cheese that I'm making, I think is not more complicated to make than those pre-made mac and cheese packets. And I think it tastes a little better. I know that's not like a high bar to clear, but it does clear it. You're gonna need two ingredients. Macaroni, whatever pasta brand that you prefer. And then, Velveeta cheese sauce. See? Simple, right? All right, you're gonna to wanna to pour in exactly however much you want. What you want to happen is for the water to be right above the line of your macaroni, okay? No need to measure nothing. Let's do it. It's gonna take like five to six minutes for your pasta to al dente, but you wanna go past that a little bit. You want it to be, because you won't be cooking it any further. You'll just drop the cheese sauce in there and then it'll be done. Good boy, you're good. He's a pretty, yes, yes. I have a lot of new gear, which uh, is why I'm so excited to go camping and I'm gonna show it all to you sooner or later, but let's do a quick sneak peek while I have you here. This is the Gerber utensil set. It's really clever because one, one, you get full-sized utensils. I like this. It also comes with a spatula. Now that's exciting. That really is exciting. Make sure you stir your mac and cheese around a little bit just so they don't get burnt or stuck to the bottom. Also includes a can opener and a potato shaver or any type of shaver, I guess. You can also clip the spork or the spoon with the spatula and it forms a freaking, what are these things called? Tongs? Dude, look at that. How clever is that? You don't need a timer because you can just keep tasting it. We're close. We're almost there. Anything else that's small and cool are these. Look at that. I've been thinking for a long time, how can I hang like a, like a tarp or a, some kind of awning off of my car? And there you go. I found the solution. 
Let's see if I can showcase that somewhere. It's like a suction cup that you can. How does that even work? Yeah, that it works like that. Oh, it's pretty sticky too. So just go ahead and clean any metal surface and then lock it down. There you go. Look at that. I have a pull tab. So I have two of those and then I can attach a tarp onto the back or the side of my car. I think that's really cool. These were like 10 bucks. Now, doesn't that look appetizing? <laughs> Actually, maybe it doesn't, but I promise. It tastes like mac and cheese. Ooh, ooh, it's actually perfect. There you go, lunch is complete. Oh God, oh my God, why didn't I open this before? Wow, look at that. You want some? You know what, I'm gonna say it. I don't like this stove as much as the smaller one. This one's just too, it's a little bigger, but more importantly, it's so finicky. There's so many like things that, there's so many things to finick. I like the smaller one. And that one costs less. So for anyone that cares, get that one. Yes, good boy, good boy. It's really good. I'm not even a huge, huge fan of mac and cheese, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty good. Definitely better than Dunkin'. I don't know if that's because of the grinding or just the beans are better. I don't mind drinking black coffee, but uh, I am gonna need to buy some half and half later. I also bought a Swedish Axe. Oh, it's sick. Super sharp, the perfect size for camping. I'm gonna go collect some hardwood. Maybe even some firewood, if I find a place that permits that. Or I drive across some like big dead tree or something. That'd be nice. This is new. I'm, I'm really happy to have like a cooking set that isn't just absolute crap. So that fits in there. And then the kettle fits into the pot. Pretty nice. I like it. This thing was only like 23 bucks, so big fan. Wow, that was great. What an effective pit stop. Dude, so many parts of my car is held up by duct tape right now. I think I'm gonna sleep in the car tonight because uh, it's easy and I haven't done it in a long time. But regardless, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys at camp. Yeah, love ya, bye.